What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Mike Seuss Vlogs. Today, we're gonna have a little bit of a story time and I'm gonna introduce you to my new car. All right guys, so sit back. You might wanna get some popcorn, get some drinks, relax, cause we got a little bit of a story to tell before I introduce the new car that I've been wanting forever. All right guys, let's go. So before I show you guys a new car and talk a little bit about why I actually bought the new car, we have a little bit of a story time. So back in the day, growing up, I was always influenced by music since my mom and my dad were both in the music industry. My mom was a DJ and my dad played in a Latino band. It wasn't until I was 13 when I first got introduced to the iconic film, The Fast and the furious. I have never in my life seen something that I was so attracted to. It was so cool, so fun to watch, and I just wanted to be a part of that cool car lifestyle. It was something that I never knew about before until watching that movie. They got me so excited and into cars. So fast forward to a few years later, it was time to buy my first car of my own. And that car was no other than Brian's Mitsubishi Eclipse from the Fast and the Furious, but the GSX version. That car made me fall in love with cars. It was something that made me so happy and I always wanted to drive it anywhere I can get a chance. I had so much fun with that car. I did a lot of cool car stuff with that car until I decided to go on one street race where I crashed the car. I ended up having to rebuild the whole front end, the whole body, the side, everything, adding new stuff. And then that time while I was rebuilding the car with some help of a local body shop, I got to learn a lot more about cars, engines and whatnot, what they do, what this does, what that does. And it made me just fall in love even more. So fast forward to 2016 and two Mercedes Benz later, I ended up buying an Alfa Romeo 4C. And this is where it all began. Not even a week after buying that car, I ended up joining a car club, which gave me the opportunity to be around so many different cool cars. I've been on rallies, I've been on track days, I've been on all kind of exciting, exclusive car shows, anything you can imagine with having a nice car and doing cool stuff with lots of cool cars. I've been around Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Ashton Martins, McLarens, all different kind of cool cars, anything you can imagine. I've raced against them, I've went on rallies with them, and all kind of cool stuff with my Alpha 4C. But there was just one brand of car that I absolutely fell in love with being around all these cars, and that was the Porsches. I'm talking all of them, the 911, the GT4s, anything you can imagine that had to do with Porsche, I fell in love with it. From the power of these cars, to the looks, to the history, all of it, I absolutely fell in love with Porsche. And I knew that one day I had to have one. So fast forward to two years later, I ended up having to sell the Alpha because of multiple transmission issues and the turbo kept failing. It was just kind of a piece of car. So I had to get rid of it. And luckily I got a good deal from someone who wanted to buy the car and I let it go immediately. After that, I had purchased the Mercedes Benz for a daily driver. So fast forward to 2021 when I actually got rid of that Mercedes also and was looking for my next sports car. The car that I wanted to get and wanted to have and was ready to go buy was the Porsche. Porsche Cayman 718 GTS. That was the car I had my heart set on and the car that I was going to go buy. So while in the market looking for this specific car, the way I wanted it specced out, and a crazy turn of events, I ended up stopping into a Tesla showroom and ended up actually test driving a Model Y. After the test drive, I'm not gonna lie guys, I absolutely fell in love with the Tesla. So much that I actually bought one the same exact day. So. I actually did not buy my dream car, the Porsche 718. I bought the Tesla instead because the Tesla had everything that I wanted. It checked all my boxes. It's super fast, loaded with features, super fun to drive, and it had everything I wanted. So I bought the Tesla over the Porsche. So I've had the Tesla for a little under a year now and I have absolutely no complaints. I love how fast it is, zero to 60, 3.1 seconds. It beats anything on the road pretty much and it's still super fun to drive but there is something missing. There's something that has been missing out of my life with this Tesla. And that is actually having a car with an engine, with noise, being able to switch gears, just the raw power of having an actual car, a driver's car. So I had to get something new. Here we are today, 11 months later, after buying the Tesla, I would like to introduce to you my new car.
This is my new Porsche Cayman 718S. And I'm super excited to have this car in my life. But hold up just one second. There's one thing that you guys might notice. Earlier, I told you guys that my dream car was a Porsche Cayman GTS. And this, well, it's an S. So why did I make this decision to go with the S over the GTS? Well, I have a good reason, all right, guys? So sit back and let me explain. While in the market for a 2019 GTS, I began to look all over the place. And it turns out that in today's market, these cars are either super overinflated or there were none available specced out the way I wanted to have my Porsche specced out. So I started doing some research on the different trims of the Cayman, the S, the T, and all that kind of stuff, just to see the differences between those models and the GTS and what I'm getting for that price. Besides the GTS being 15,000 more dollars than the S, it has the same 2.5 liter turbo engine, but it puts out about 15 more horsepower due to it having a better turbo. It has a 0.1 difference in the zero to 60 time and a difference in top speed of just three miles per hour. It's all built in the same exact chassis with the same exact exterior and interior as the S, except it has a different front bumper. So it got me thinking, is this GTS really worth $15,000 over the S? Absolutely not. Let me explain why. So if I bought the S for just under $4,000, I can increase the performance of the S by just simply tuning the car and adding an exhaust. These two mods alone will give me over 90 horsepower, a much quicker zero to 60 time and way more torque, which will even outperform the latest Cayman GTS 4.0, which is a six cylinder engine. With all that cash saved, I can spec out my S exactly the way I want it. For instance, adding the sports chrono package, which gives the car more power for 20 seconds, adding the PSAM suspension and also adding a premium package as well as some other upgrades as well. At the end of the day, that's exactly what I did. That's why I went with the S. It made way more sense to go with the S. It was just underpowered by a little bit over the GTS and I can make it way faster than the GTS for less money than it would cost to buy a full GTS. And it also gives me a chance to work on my own car and make it exactly the way I want it. I want to have a little bit of a project car. I know I can't do much, but I can do something and I wanted to be involved with that as well. So that's another reason why I went with the S. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. So drop a comment below and let me know what you guys would have done. So now that you guys seen my car and why I got the car, now is where we're gonna have some fun. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of upgrades on this car and that's what we're gonna be doing on this channel in multiple videos. So I'm going to be wrapping the car, which is a really cool color that I cannot wait for you guys to see. Everything is already in motion. The wrap is already ordered. It's coming in. As soon as it comes in, I'm gonna go get it wrapped. We're adding an exhaust by AWE. We're adding a tune by APR. We're throwing in the air filter. And we're also gonna be adding a lot of carbon fiber around the whole car. So all this stuff we're gonna to do together on the channel, I'm gonna have you guys come along every step of the way and we're gonna transform my Porsche Cayman S into my dream car, the car that I want and hopefully you guys will like it too. As far as the upgrades go, I'm gonna have the guys over at GMP Performance in Charlotte do all the work. They're very experienced with Porsche. They race Porsches, they build Porsches, and they do a lot of stuff with the Porsche. So those are my guys. They did some work for me on my Mercedes in the past. They're really cool people and I'm happy to have them doing this job. So we're gonna stop by their shop in some of the videos and hopefully I'm gonna get the car on a dyno for before and after footage so we can see how much power we've made after all the installs. And for all you Tesla guys, I still have the Tesla and we're gonna also be doing some work to my Tesla. In case you guys didn't see my last video, I do have a Tesla Model 3 Performance and it's super quick, super fun, and we're gonna be doing some stuff to that car because I haven't done any upgrades to that car since the 11 months of owning it. And now it's time to really get some stuff going with that car as well. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna have a lot of crazy content on this channel with cars as well as adventures, vacation. We're gonna go and rally we're gonna go to the track we're gonna be doing some racing we're gonna be doing all kind of crazy stuff with both these cars so I hope you guys stick along also I want you guys to follow my Instagram at Mike Seuss because I will be doing a lot of posting on there so you'll see a lot of behind the scenes stuff before it even gets to YouTube so you'll see some Instagram stories maybe some sneak peek photos of the wrapping process the installation process all that kind of stuff before it even hits YouTube so make sure you guys go and follow me on Instagram make sure you guys subscribe to the the channel like comment do all that good stuff because we're gonna have fun i hope you guys like what i'm doing so far and i'm really excited to take you guys along all right till next time peace